In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure your Trailhead Playground for the unit Get Started with a Salesforce Platform, the first unit in the Salesforce Platform Basics module. This is probably the beginning of your journey to becoming a Salesforce administrator. Awesome. So happy to have you here. I've provided bookmarks in the description of the video, so if you're stuck at any particular part, you could just jump to the part that you're stuck at. Before I get started showing you the hands-on challenge, I just want to give a little word of encouragement and a little bit of a background on what it means to be a Salesforce administrator. My word of encouragement is that if you started off looking at this unit and you're like, you might think that Salesforce is just a CRM and you maybe are thinking to yourself, I never thought that in my life. I don't even know what a CRM is. That's completely understandable. I've experienced that as well. I've recommended to a lot of my friends to become Salesforce administrators after they've been teachers or in other fields. And then they come to some of this training. They're like, I don't have any background in business. I don't even know where to begin. So it is possible to start from zero and make your way in but it's a long road and it's hard. But hopefully the videos that I'm gonna create here are gonna help give you some of that context. So one thing I recommend doing is taking a look at the trail called Learn About the Fourth Industrial Revolution. This will set up a lot of what's happening in business right now and also put in position how Salesforce is playing in that space and the problem that Salesforce as a company is solving and the opportunity that it's bringing to businesses. A CRM is a customer relationship management tool. Businesses need these because businesses need customers and keeping track of your customers is really important. You might be surprised how many businesses don't have a customer relationship management tool. I have a friend who's a consultant and does tons of business for tons of people and runs the whole thing on a notebook, like literally a paper and pen notebook. Being able to keep track of your customers is a really important thing because very often you can sell either the same product and service or new products and services into your current customer base. So growing your customer base is a really powerful tool. If you don't know who your customers are, then that's almost impossible to do. But Salesforce isn't just a CRM. That's the original thing that Salesforce got started with. That today is a product called Sales Cloud. Salesforce also offers Marketing Cloud, which has a whole suite of marketing tools. And Salesforce also has Service Cloud, which is a whole bunch of software to help businesses provide great service to their customers. The three of these together are the key functions, sales, marketing, and service of a business. Salesforce also has platform and ability to connect everything and tools so your company could talk to each other and talk to their partners and just so much more. But the three, sales cloud, service cloud, marketing cloud, those three together are really the core functionality that you'll probably be coming across most of the time. And in your Salesforce administrator work, it's mostly gonna be focusing on Sales Cloud. Well, all this stuff is pretty complicated, and this is the big opportunity for someone to become a Salesforce administrator. Because by learning all of this different software, you can help a business that is using Salesforce learn how to use it even more effectively. And you can help that business succeed and do all sorts of cool things and make more money by becoming a Salesforce administrator. In my videos, I will give you some additional background so you understand why you're doing what you're doing and why it's so important. So that way, as you're going through this training, you don't just feel like you're pressing random buttons in some weird machine, which you sort of are, but instead you'll be able to understand the business value of what you're doing and what that will mean to your future employers and why you'd wanna be doing it. So it's a, I will try here to connect the why with the what, and I hope that will really help you out. And with that, let's get started on this first hands-on challenge. Many home buyers who work with Dreamhouse Realty are pre-qualified for a home loan. Brokers need to know how much money their clients can borrow so they can show properties in the right price range. Pause. This is super important, right? If Imagine if you were going shopping for a home or an apartment and you're working with a broker and they show you something that's way more expensive than you want or way cheaper than you're looking for. You would be like, what are you doing? Like, I'm not interested and in, I can't pay for that. And I need more than just what you're offering me. Understanding what the customer really wants is the key thing here. 
you got to know their name, you got to know their phone number, you got to know their email, but you also have to know what is it that they're looking for. Add a loan amount field to the contact object so brokers can record and see this information. Well, this is incredibly important. As a matter of fact, if Salesforce doesn't have this field, it's almost like not going to be useful for them, right? It's not going to be useful for Dreamhouse Realty. So by you adding this field makes Salesforce relevant and useful to the brokers at Dreamhouse Realty. So this is a little exercise, very simple to do, but it's gonna have a huge benefit for this. Again, this is just a fictional experiment that we're doing in a Trailhead Playground, but I want you to appreciate the why this is so important and why you would wanna make other changes, maybe for other businesses, so these configurations make Salesforce so powerful and beneficial for them. To pass this challenge, you'll create a new custom field in addition to the one you made earlier in this unit if you're following along. Okay, to do this, we're going to create a field on the contact object. So you're gonna go over to the object manager, field and relationships, new, and they're gonna select currency. And then you're gonna select the field label, loan amount, field name, loan amount. Now, one thing I'd encourage you to do but again, this isn't necessary to pass the unit, is to add in a description. And I put in here so brokers can know how much money their clients can borrow so they can show properties in the right price range. The reason it's important to add in this description is for your benefit. So you're able to start to think about what's the business reason for doing this piece, this technical activity. This isn't just about getting the certification at the end, it's about understanding why doing this activity is gonna have a positive impact on the business. Click save and make your way through the rest of those options and then let's check the challenge.